Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. So we are getting closer and closer to the end of this whole game. I'm getting very excited. I was doing this off screen, I built a blacksmith and I thought it was just tedious looking at me clicking around. So I was originally not intending to do some like assault missions, but I guess as the difficulty went up thanks to those sneaky mofos who actually have skills that raise their attack and defense I decided to go on a rampage with my man and my bro because you know what I am getting confidence in winning few battles straight I might be able to do this and plus like if I could get this through though the next time when I just like stomp their ass to conquer them it will probably be a few minute video we don't know yet, but let's hope for the best because right now it's like they have way more outposts than I do and it's gonna be tough, I know it, but let's just hope that this gameplay I can do something special for you guys. So I stuck around with that and people were asking what that tiny little white thing was. I accidentally splashed it too quickly. It's actually plus critical hit. Which I still don't really know what's a point of critical hit because there is no comp that hey you just critically hit And does that work on officers and warriors? I don't know. But I just hope that when I come up with those dynasty warriors, please give me a critical hit. Oh so basically, um, right now we are actually defending from the like, assault of the other country, and now I'm encountering with the Fire Goddess too. She was one of my favorite characters since the earlier generation, like Game 4. And wow, like back then, her like cool design, although she always kept her kind of blue hair, but her design was like just out of this world. And I'm like, wow. It's China that you're talking about, ancient China, and there's this like blonde girl. Don't care if you're a goddess, but if, if she has to look like Amazonian, Amazonian, Amazonian. Yeah, I think they kind of messed her up in like seven. They actually replaced her signature like, triangular boomerang with I think it was Wang Yuan Chi's little dark movie and. First of all, you have two characters that use the same weapon. Just like Chuba and Chuba that uses the same like feather thing. Like I guess it's okay, but I mean, had you actually given them a different like skill set on the same weapon, it would be so different. Right? But they kept the same, so I'm so glad in eight they actually brought back Chuba to the triangular female. But as this became her. Um, I guess Musou attack in the last generation actually was bad because her little all direction shooting of flames and darts just like literally out in almost every single type situation, even if you're playing like I guess the lunatic level. I don't even know how to translate it, but then in Japanese it's shoot extreme demon level. So basically, right now she got her weapon back, but then now she only has a Musa that actually shoots a like one key fireball that goes like straight. But I guess beggars can't be choosing. Come on, like if you really love that character so much, just use her to death and just get every single trick on her. And her but then, just like you said, I've been in the franchise for so so long that I actually have to do it. And I don't even get why fighting these minor officers that doesn't have any boost could have me down to this much HP. So I'm kind of worried about what is going on with this. So I'm going to get one of you guys or myself with the same stuff because we've seen all the same in the previous few uploads. So you don't want to see me like in physically attend what evidence of me actually so yeah, it's like the previous episode, the previous section of the recording, I've said that it's kind of a bummer that we can't have one more minute. But then again, they don't expect to have like an extremely long campaign, so even having both kids doesn't really like, 
work out, like, you're gonna be like, hey, um, your sister's in the battlefield, but you can't go, like, something like that. So, so far, I'm having a tough time trying to defend. I'm not even, like, making progress with the dragon, but it's just like that. I've set off my large, like, area attack, which chips most of them down, but, like, since, I guess, like, my other partner out of the other two has been there, I um, might as well just- Oh my god, you again. She respawned so quickly that I was like, are you kidding me? She just died, like, what, two minutes ago? Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave that outpost to the other guys. I'm pretty sure two of them together, if they can take down one defensive outpost with the one AI, good job. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was like a huge. I did notice this like Lee Jung Dude was like just like lurking in the corner with high defense trying to get my arms and guess he's getting it. So basically I guess the up attack up defense bullshit is gonna be a prevailing trait starting now on. And finally, she's gonna not respond because she said, Oh no, I'm just gonna admit defeat now, so okay, this Having these like defense up mofo is really a pain in the ass and having more dynasty warriors chopping my ass down with so many more outposts to take over. Oh my god, it's gonna be a really long episode. So speaking of which, I Yeah, people would go like that bottom can run away from her. First of all, he's gonna probably attack my own outpost. Second of all, I don't like giving up in this way, although it's Really fucked up that finally he lost his like special defense. But honestly, now that he's not defensive, this mofo comes in and then this a hole. I don't even want to swear that dirty word, but this dude that stopped being defensive started to give me like poisonous fuck. Now I'm just like, poison. How that is that? Like that troll is just. So I can't say that we're making progress, but like at least I made the right choice of reducing video length by letting my man, my team, to take over the outpost that we're in just now. And well, what I am planning to do is just take the one on like top hill, and then if the that spread well enough, then I'm just gonna take the I guess main boss or like the main boss because. I guess taking a long time to do it is just gonna make things more difficult because up till this point we're like 80%. Well not 80%, it's 75% into the game. Like, the difficulty's already high up and getting surrounded, you or your comma is getting surrounded and asked for what is just gonna be just unnecessary tragedy for these people in the regime. So right now, I just really want this to be done ASAP. Oh, no more bugs. I just want to get this done ASAP and get the main boss over there because I can do this. Because look at the map. The top, there's a little bar. It's kind of like not easy to see, but in the beginning of the game, it's like you're always the same way. Like blue is the end of the game. And right now, just look at it, man. No foes is into it. Like, you're just like complicated. And it's, I think mean, it's a glitch or something, but whenever there's you know, fellow officers nearby you during the, uh, I guess, onslaught of the outpost, they literally prevent like, enemies from them, which actually is not beneficial because you won't technically have to kill those people with the words of them and then shoot the leader or something. Like, killing one just reduces the number of but then they stop spawning, and then it will be like, hard to kill. But right now, because we're stuck in between the junctions, I guess more people come into this area. But the good thing though is when other like, enemies come into the same area, they actually could be counted as part of the outpost, so see, we actually get it. So what I will go ahead to do right now, you already know this I'm going to go take down the main general, the person in charge of this battle, and just get it over there. So, so far right now, he's not out yet, but I'm pretty sure he will be, because 
in the place to catch us do what they can do. Take down the fortress, win the game. At one point, they were like, hey, who are you attacking my fortress? Probably the other one. Almost like, you know, they're going to do And then you get the next part of the to just finish that shit. So I've got to say, up to this point, this game is just really nice because I I thought from the beginning of the episode that this was going to be like a knock off of seven with a new dude and just a new skill with this lead, but it's pretty wrong because I like how they just want to surprise you at the end of the video. Not like the advertisement, I guess, you would be in like 30 days ago, like, hey, like, my first day, like, they have a new turn, day zero edition. Like, I don't even want to trust people on their freaking release date anymore because, um, just because I don't have a you know, capture card for BDS to show you that. I purchased my, I purchased the actual, um, is it Alpha Sapphire? Is that how you call it? Like Alpha Sapphire instead of Omega, Omega Ruby? What the hell? Yeah, so we won. Yeah, he didn't even kill that out. Wow. I hope this video is not like for 15 minutes where well, it, it beat the purpose, so yeah. Success, and we lost only 1%, and they got whooped, look at it, from perfect to like third degree, which is one degree before losing to us. Third degree damage, so yeah, so basically, every game, their release date is bullshit, because I got my copy two days early. Nintendo is just letting them out early, like, fuck the day zero copies, because there is no day zero. There are just ways to get them two, three days, even, like, hell, a week before the release, so... I don't even want to believe in the release dates anymore, like, Day Zero is like a thing. It's like, play this, Destiny Day Zero version, or like, play this, this is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero version, it's just like, oh my god. So right now we're closer and closer, very close actually, to the end of this whole game, so I decide to up the offense one level, and as usual they don't have any issues with that. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually just stick with battling and just one like, blacksmith. Thank you all for watching this, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have fun and peace.